Greetings, foolish mortals. Does I, cat? And, um, hi! I don't think I've done a video like this in a while. Yes, I'm back to PNG if you haven't figured it out by watching my vids. So, I had a thought about something that's very dear to me. So, if you haven't figured it out yet by watching my videos or anything, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I've mentioned it frequently on my streams. People who know me know I talk about it. Heck, look at my character. You can kind of see some of the influence of Kingdom Hearts. I, I'd show full model, but uh, there's only so much on this one. I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I love Kingdom Hearts. It's very close to my little heart, being a Disney nerd that I am and all that jazz. But we all know Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, and it got, well, <sighs> mixed feelings, if you will. And... I know every person who I know who played Kingdom Hearts and is a Kingdom Hearts fan all have massive critiques over the Frozen level. And so, and so, I also agree. I hate the Frozen level. I hate Frozen, period. So I'm like the worst person to be talking about this level. But I'm not a huge Frozen fan. Hell, my, my sister is a huge, well, was, I don't know if she still is, a Frozen fan. And she watched that video like for three months non-stop. Just one of those little autism, ADHD stimming things. So I know the story very well, even against my will. But that's not what I'm here about. I know everyone has issues with the Frozen level, and everyone most likely knows a lot of the behind the scenes about the Frozen level and why it became that. And I thought, in a weird sleep-induced haze, to come up with my own idea for a Frozen level? So, I'm going to point out a few things I've always had issues with. One, the level is a little tedious, boring, and that's a thing that everyone knows. So, like, looks alone, it's not that great. Frozen has very wonderful graphics, the movie. And, you know, it was beautiful, and it looks like beautiful snow. But, like, the level itself, it looks like the fake stuff you see at the mall Santa displays. But that's, again, graphics aren't a thing that I give a shit about right now. We're right now going to talk about story. Might have to edit some things. So here's the thing with the story I've always had issue with. Now, I know that behind the scenes originally they wanted Elsa to be the bad guy. Which, if you know how Frozen originally Elsa was going to be the antagonist, and they decided not to, for reasons of stupid, you know this is not an unfamiliar story. And I've loved the idea of Elsa basically getting you know, consumed into darkness and becoming a heartless. It would have been something different. It would have been something interesting because we haven't, I think, so far. Now, mind you, I'm a little rusty on a few of the Kingdom Hearts. I don't think we've ever seen a protagonist full-on succumb. I know, like, the Beast embraced it for a while, but, or, like, was influenced for a while, but not got, like, full-on turned into a heartless, I think. Again, I'm a little rusty on certain things, and I have been based... So I might be wrong. And I know a lot of people ha would have loved to have seen that. I would have loved to have seen it. I sure as heck did not want to see that thing that they did for the final villain. The Hans thing. Hans? Is that the name of the guy? Hans? Hans. I don't know. I don't care. I don't like him. And like, last minute villain is just... Nah, bad writing. But again, we all know that Disney had a lot of influence in this uh, rendition of Kingdom Hearts, which is very vastly annoying, and it's kind of funny because Disney doesn't acknowledge just Kingdom Hearts' existence, except for, like, certain times I know currently that they are doing some Kingdom Hearts things at the Oogie Boogie Bash in California, California. <sighs> anyway, focus. And, like, there's always been some other things I've always had issues with, and this is gonna be a me critique, because I don't think anyone's really, from what I have seen from people critiquing the Frozen level, ever talked about, and it's most likely because it's a nitpicky thing that only I would notice and complain about because I am currently writing Kingdom Hearts fanfiction. Yes, I have Kingdom Hearts fanfiction, and when I write fanfiction, I research. No, I will not be linking it here, but if you happen to find it, congratulations! It's, o it's OC slash canon, it's self-indulgent, and it just gives me some serotonin. I don't care. But I have been doing research and trying to bend everything involving Kingdom Hearts to my own world's will to make it make more sense. And also, I don't have anything involving Kingdom Hearts 3 involved in it at all, because this was, like, it was already, like, written before Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped, but I, pr I think I published it after Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped. I think. Uh, timelines are weird. Anyway, so, Focus. So the thing that has been 
bothering me with the Frozen level that, again, I said no one has ever really critiqued or talked about is how Larksan, 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 I don't know how they pronounce it. I will pronounce the names the however I pronounce them, and if they're pronounced wrong, screw you. I don't care if they're not the canon pronunciations. They sound a whole lot better. Do not get me started on how they pronounce Luxord's name can canonically. I will go on a rant for five minutes. Anyway, so, well, Larksan is like the Organization 13 baddie? Organization 13 influence of that world? She's the org member who's in that world. And it has always bothered me. And I couldn't figure out why it bothered me until I remember when I saw her use her powers. Her aspect is electrical and somehow wind-based. I'm assuming that's because Xehanort... It's always Xehanort. It's always Xehanort. Anything weird happens, blame Xehanort. It's like, blame the Mass Effect. And she's in it, and she has the electric powers, and I always thought, I mean, that's great and everything, but they have an ice guy. Vexen is still on the team, and he's the chili academic, and he does ice. And I just want to see ice wizard, ice battles, okay? Ice battles are awesome. You can do some pretty good thing with ice, ice user versus ice user. They can be pretty cool and graphic looking. You can show different styles of ice and everything, but they didn't do it. And I'm like, why didn't they use Vexen? Vexen would have been perfect for Frozen. He's ice. And like, and then I thought about it more and I thought well the plot doesn't really work for that and then I rewrote my own plot in my true fan fiction-y way I rewrote the frozen level plot this was redundant in a semi caffeine a semi tired that caffeine hasn't hit me haze so it might be a little crazy but I really want to share it so what it's gonna be it's like so if anyone's ever played Kingdom Hearts you know that usually there's like they're the levels that either follow the plot of the movie or we're just using the skin and we're doing some of our own little original things. We'll do references to movie, but it's not full-on one-to-one like the movie. Frozen's was semi-one-to-one -one like the movie, and I fucking hated the Let It Go sequence. Yeah, why did we need this freaking sequence? Why? 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 That won't be in my plot. So, my idea is somewhat interesting. Now, I know that, like, the reason... I, I mentioned earlier that... Disney was not a fan of the idea of their princess being succumbed to darkness. I kind of use that. Let me, let, let's start from the very beginning. Boom. So, at first, they're in the frozen world. Woo, frozen! And it's, like, springtime. Or, yeah, springtime or something. And everyone's happy. Happy. But then suddenly a really horrible cold winter happens. The, the A really cold winter happens. It's really bad. Like, really bad. Like, almost worse than frozen levels. And, you know, it's like... Snow infused with darkness, which causes Heartless to come around, and, you know, bad shit's happening in the village, kingdom, little town with a quiet village. I don't know what they call Air- what, what you count Arendelle as. Arendelle? Arendelle, yeah. So, bad things happening. Now, anyone who's ever lived in a town full of people who are, you know, loud but stupid, if you will, you know that there's going to be at least one or two people who basically see this really horrible winter and immediately will blame- Elsa, I'm not, I'm sorry, I don't believe the whole village is going to instantly accept her. There has to be a few people who still have issue with Elsa and the winter. Mostly, I blame, think farmers would hate her the most because they fucked up the crops. I will be swearing in this Kingdom Hearts video if you haven't figured that one out. So, or like, lost loved ones that got massively sick, something of the nature. There has to be someone who has a gripe with Elsa and has no issue. Hell, bring back Hans if you want. I don't care. But, like, basically what could happen is the locals are saying, hey, this horrible winter's happening. Now it's even worse with these, with the Heartless or these dark evil being creatures because they don't know what Heartless are because, you know, they're not supposed to exist in that world. So they're basically, these monsters are not happening and they just assume it's all Elsa's fault again. Because, you know, to be perfectly honest, correlation does not cause causation, but a coincidence is a coincidence. So basically they're blaming Elsa for it. Outcasting Elsa basically treating Elsa like a monster again and almost if you want you could do a Hans trying to be like Gaston situation basically a kill the beast trying to chase down Elsa again Sora and crew are there they are seeing this they want to, they they try to stop it they fail because you know meddling bad you know that thing they're supposed to not be doing but they do frequently in every game they break the prime directive every time I swear so you do that and then you Elsa runs away that's what Elsa does. She runs away. I'm sorry, she's not that good. She runs away from everything. Um, and Anna is again, and Anna basically once again has to go find her sister because that's how they write her character. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. And 
So basically you meet up. You could either A, let them witness, let Sora witness this bullshit happening. Or you could have them meet up with Anna, who's back again trying to save her sister. That's my phone. Ignore that. And she basically, and they basically, um, they could basically go off and find her. Because, you know, sisters, friendship, love. And while they do that, um, they do, you know, have their fighting of the heartless, dealing with the baddies, all the good jazz. You know, the semi-basic thing you do in Kingdom Hearts. Maybe a little mini-game. I don't know. I don't care. Um, and then they could finally get to the castle. They're all thinking, oh, this is Elsa's castle. Like, it's a full-on recreation of Elsa's original castle from the first movie. But there's something dark and sinister about it. Maybe the ice is not as pretty and, you know, prismatic. Maybe there's, like, a dark energy around it. Maybe it's a little bit off once you look close to it. It's clear, it's somewhat obvious to the audience that this is not Elsa's castle. There is something wrong here. But, again, like I said, the villagers all think it's her. Anna most likely thinks it's her castle, and she's just holding herself up again like she did in the first movie. And this is where the fun comes in. So we go to find the villain. And it's not Elsa! Gasp! Because I understand that Disney doesn't want their pretty, pretty princesses to be bad people, so I'm throwing them a bone. You get one bone, Disney. And basically, Elsa has been dealing with, with a combination of dealing with the stress of being, well, she's not even, is she considered a queen now? I can't remember. I know, like, in the second movie, she goes off to be a nature spirit, but that's about it. And I could be completely wrong, because I didn't, my sister didn't, you know, watch this movie as frequently as she did the first one, so, eh. Anyway, so she basically dealing with the pressures of possibly trying to live a normal life, and then all these, her whole home basically betraying her again. And most likely also not dealing with all the somewhat trauma she did dealt with in the first movie, aka nearly killing her sister. And also, like, there could also be some influence being from the outside by the organization member, who we all know I'm planning to be Vexen. Shock! Gasp! And Vexen also doing his influence. Because he's most likely intrigued about the idea of doing this, and the idea of elemental powers combined with... Who knows why he's doing it? Xehanort told him to do it, and, Z and he pleases Xehanort, for all we know. So he's the one causing the influence. He's the reason why the really horrible frozen winter is happening. Maybe he got a power boost from Xehanort because of having a part of Xehanort within him, so that's why he's able to do something even more worse. And basically he decided to make it, and basically made it look like Frozen's castle, make it look like it's all Elsa's fault, so the village can go up against her, so she basically gets influenced by the darkness, becomes a massive badass heartless. But... The team basically uh, Sora and Anna basically come hell you can have Kristoff in there too I don't care come to see this and they somewhat put a wrench in the plans where basically like Elsa is clearly about to get succumbed into the darkness like ah, darkness bad no sibling does her thing uh, her sister goes off to do the thing you know trying to help her fight it Vexen is being Vexen being cocky and being like ha 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 I did this thing da 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 you know Vexen being a cocky bastard about the whole thing, thinking he's succeeded. Basically, you are fighting You are fighting uh, Vexen during this period. It's a very, very hard fight as well. Like, super hard. This is also a reference to a friend of mine who basically, he had an issue fighting Vexen, and Vexen can be kind of hard if you don't know how, what you're doing in the second game. So, it's actually kind of funny. So, it could be like a som somewhat like an homage to the second, to the, uh, second game. And, like, the battle is really, really, really hard. It's complicated because Xehanort most likely has influenced in some form or fashion to make him more powerful. And all of that jazz. And, like, you're having, like, this moment, like, a cutscene happens at this one peak, and it's like, like, it's a time limit kind of situation, like, at a certain period of time of fighting this guy. And he's, like, Vexen being cocky again, going, ha, 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 I'm finally going to end you, da, 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 we will finally do this thing, da, 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 I can do my research, da, 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 look at me, look at me. And, like... About to have the killing blow. We know it's not going to be a killing blow. Come on, it's freaking Disney. And, like, Elsa basically has, while we are fighting, has slow, has no longer succumbed to darkness in some fashion because the power of lo sisterly love. Reference to the first movie. And, you know, she's mad. Like, how dare you make my own family go up against, my friends go up against me, all that jazz. And, you know, then it's awesome magic fight. Awesome ice magic fight. Come on, just imagine a cutscene with uh, Vexen and Elsa fighting each other. Yes, they both have ice powers, but like I said earlier, it could be really creative. You could have 
Vexen's eyes look more blocky and less pretty and more utilitarian versus Elsa's more pretty ice. You know, basically Vexen could be a bit more willing to make shields while uh, Elsa's more willing to go pew and go straight through like a spear or something. You know, just like, you can clearly see that these two do have the same similar powers, but they use different disciplines and it would be a very interesting fight and really cool looking in my brain. And you know, power of friendship, we defeat Vexen, Vexen dies. Like, Elsa's not going to give the final blow because we all know Disney's not going to allow Elsa to kill anyone. No, only Mulan's allowed to kill. <laughs> no, only does this princess with a body count. I think. Yeah, only one. So, could do like the, not final, final blow, but like a blow that basically puts him in such a weakened state that Sora can go knock him out and then he's down and then he's gone and poof. And that's kind of the idea I had for the Frozen level if I had a chance to write it. Now, I know I'm not that great of a writer. I write fan fiction for the love of God. I didn't think I was great or anything. But, like, the idea of and all of this makes sense to me. Because, I, again, like I said earlier, I'm not the hugest fan of Lark Sand being part of the Frozen level. Yeah, I'm like, I, it never clicked. Like, for me, Luxord being on Pirates of the Caribbean makes sense because it's, one, he loves gambling and pirate and gambling and stuff, and that's a very piratey thing. As well as, you know, it, he was in the second game, so it's a previous world he's in. He knows the thing. And, like, Marluxo works in Tangled because I would say it's a flower he has the flower motif and Pro and Tangled has a lot of flower motifs and plant motif which kind of works for him but like Larksan never worked in Frozen for me and that's what I kind of figured it out with the whole Vexen thing and then I was just like oh wait there's an idea and how was my idea this is me ta basically explaining what I would do for the Frozen level no one's gonna listen to this because I highly doubt I am that much of an influence and it's just a silly little idea that I doubt makes sense. For all I know, my idea is stupid and convoluted, but hey, it works for Frozen. It works for Kingdom Hearts. Like land of convoluted plots. Oh god, writing this fan fiction, I have been twisting everything like pretzels and it's crazy. Anyway, um, thank you, foolish mortals, for actually listening to this. I highly doubt you stayed for the whole almost 20 minutes. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope... Will I ever do Kingdom Hearts on stream? I have no clue. I have to actually purchase them for PC and all that jazz, and I've been kind of iffy about it because of how Square has been doing copyright claims to anything Kingdom Hearts lately. Oh boy. So, um, thanks for listening and listening to my weird semi-caffeinated rambles. I hope you guys have a good day and everything. Bye-bye!